Hello champions, so it's time to upgrade my PS5 with new SSD 1TB, actually this one from the PS5, it become almost full with games and also games from PlayStation Plus, so I think it's time to upgrade my PlayStation 5 with new SSD from 1TB from a data S70. So let's open this and after that we will install in PS5. Yes. And let's see what we got inside. Yes, this is the SSD, just just a box and SSD nothing order. And Yes, so this is it from A data. This heat sink it's a little bit tall. Actually, it's uh, it can you actually you can't close the cover on PS5 for SSD, but I don't care, and I think it will be it will work fine. So let's get to work and install. Okay, now it's time to install SSD in your PlayStation before you. Do that first step is to remove the stand for PlayStation and put PlayStation on, 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 on some uh, soft surface. So don't put on hard because do not scratch or damage the cover of PlayStation. And also logo of PlayStation is going down. So put in this position. This is the DVD here. Pull up a little bit here, hold here and press on the left side and you will remove the cover for PlayStation. That's it. You see, like this. And here is the place for SSD. So next step is take a screwdriver and remove the cover for SSD on your PlayStation and put here in slot inside. Actually, this is SSD is a little bit tall. So actually with this SSD, I can put cover uh, on 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 the top so anyway i will now you have you will just hear like a click i think i'm not sure yes like this so ssd is installed in slot and after that take this small screw from here and spacer also And take it very carefully to not fall down inside of PlayStation through the vent, through the cooling system. This one small, it's spacer, and spacer we will put here, where is where is the hole for for SSD, like this. Take a screwdriver again, press down, and and you will stick your SSD on your PlayStation, and that's it. That's the complete installation of SSD in PlayStation Five. As you can see. This one is a little bit tall, so anyway, I can put the cover, so it will be open it like this. I think it will be no problems at all, and heatness it will go out uh, much much faster. I think, in my opinion, anyway, Sony suggests to use this, but heatness it will. Heatness can go out when you're using this. Heatness can, can go out only through these two holes. And anyway, somewhere it, mu it must go. And in this case, because PlayStation, it will be vertical like this. And anyway, heatness, it will go like this much, much, much faster. And this is the cooling system. So he's sucking the air from this side like this. So anyway, it will be not a big problem. Even it doesn't block the entrance for a anyway he can pick up from this side and now it's time to put back cover it's simple just you see this 
two holes here and or those two and just put like this you will it will fit uh, without any problems you will feel and just press a little bit yes it's a click and that's it that's the whole process and here is the SSD inside as you can see uh, the cover is not touching SSD I see yes it's not touching and so now let's install some games and see how it works so this is the setup for your SSD when you put first time we will format SSD just uh, press X on format M2 SSD and now is going to format your SSD and that's the whole process of installation for SSD in your PS5 so read speed 6169 megabytes per second it's fine I mean it's a good speed anyway this SSD for me it's most optimal if we're talking about price and about speed cheap and fast so press ok press ok and that's it and here we are I have a lot of games also on disk and on PlayStation Plus so we will go here in settings to lower the sound a little bit on my speakers and here is the storage system storage options console storage installation locations so I will put I will choose PS5 games and apps uh, M2 storage and PS4 games and apps also M2 storage because this one from console it's almost full yes I have 50 gigabytes more free space but i think i will not use anymore and also if you want to move your game from one ssd to second one to not make installation again so go here in settings and go in storage settings click on console storage click on games and apps and down choose the game which you want to move so click x on game select items to move and here on the right side you have move to m.2 ssd storage so click move that will become human 42.52 gigabytes click ok and that's it so we moved the tetroid game to another ssd as you can see here games and apps my new ssd click here and you can see that's where it become human now it's here on my new ssd And we see results, as you can see, a data is one second faster 
in that's where it become human in loading times but in borderlands 3 uh, ssd from ps5 it's one second also faster from this one anyway it's not a big deal one second is nothing basically basically you just extend your capacity for for ps5 and that's it i can definitely recommend you this ssd is very cheap and it gives you a good speed the same like uh, internal uh, ssd from ps5 so about temperatures uh, you should be not worried yes you can you can put the cover uh, on, on on this ssd because uh, um, heat sink it's a little bit tall but i think there is no problems at all and in my opinion i think it's better to be open it so heatness can go out much much faster so thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video